Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of recreating Moog Defam in PD Vanilla. Today I'll show you how to add a low pass filter or high pass with resonance. The abstraction I'm going to use is this one, uh, multifilter underscore ABS, which was put together by Alexandros Drimonitis. I hope I have pronounced your name correctly. This abstraction is entirely made using native PD vanilla objects and it's really good. It sounds really clear. You have a separate audio output for each filter type you want to use, low pass, high pass, band pass and so on. And you can easily switch between filter types using this section where you can toggle each message. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to copy this section with the uh, filter types and this one. From this point, we can send the DFAM output to the multi-filter. So we can use a send audio. Uh, let's call it VCO mix. We can disconnect the uh, DAC. So we send the VCO mix, here we receive it. Then we take the receive low pass and we send it to the DAC. Now if we want to listen to the high pass and resonant, we need to add a receive high pass and receive resonant as well. The idea now is to mix the low pass with the resonant filter so that we can increase, we can boost that resonance, uh, that resonant frequency. So we can use a plus tilde where we send high pass and low pass. And here resonant, we divide the signal by two so that we can control the overall amplitude. We can get rid of these send as well here and we just need a, a send audio. We can call it VCF mix and here as well. Finally, the time to add the VCF decay has arrived. So we need to retrieve the VCO decay frequency, which is produced out of this multiplication sign. We use a snapshot tilde. We update it with a fast pace, something like 20 milliseconds. We use a, a toggle to turn these uh, snapshot on and off. And finally, a number box. Great. Now we can send this value. We can call it VCO frequency one. And here we can receive VCO frequency one. We can send this frequency inside the uh, message of the frequency, uh, the filter frequency, and we can have a listen. It sounds good, but we can do better. What I want to do now is to add an offset between the cutoff frequency and the frequency of the VCO. So out of the receive VCO frequency, we can add a certain number. For now, we can use a fixed value, something like 500. This way, the cutoff frequency of the filter will always be 
above the actual frequency produced by the oscillator. Now we can change this parameter on the run and here things start to become interesting. So out of the VCO frequency we can apply a multiplication sign. So let's say that we want to have a value determined by the frequency produced by the oscillator multiplied by uh, 10 or we can change this value. So let me add a number box. From this point, possibilities are endless. So it's up to you to experiment, to tweak these parameters, trying to get the best out of this synth. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.